Fellow citizens, please lend me your ears and concentration for just four minutes. Now, for several years now, I've had the privilege and blessing of traveling, working with professionals and educating students across the world. UK, China, Singapore, Malaysia, South Africa, Greece, and Canton. However, ever so often, I engage in soul-searching thoughts on Africa, Nigeria, our homeland, and the black race in general. You see, I can't seem to work out why, despite abundant human and natural resources, and exemplary achievements of Nigerian professionals abroad, our nation remains backward in all indices of human progress. Look, recently, a 1988 statement by William Botha of the Apartheid South Africa challenged me to tears. Now, he said, black people cannot rule themselves because they don't have the brain and mental capacity to govern a society. You give them guns, they will kill themselves. Give them power, they will loot the treasury. Give them independence and democracy, they will use it to promote tribalism, ethnicity, bigotry, hatred, killings, and wars. Now, fellow citizen, let me challenge you. Have you, your leaders, or government, proved this racist South African wrong since the statement in 1988? Think about that. You see, we are the only race that is ready and willing to sacrifice meritocracy, national development and progress, to favor protection of tribal and religious loyalty despite the recycling consequences before us since independence. Take a look at the literacy rate of Nigeria. At 62% national average for adults in general, and 65.1% for young adults of 15 to 24, one expects informed national decisions with positive national impacts on, for example, the quality of the elected national leaders. Not really in our case. We are not moved by the economic and security realities and human suffering in our nation. We are not moved by the quality of our leaders or how and why the black man is being ridiculed worldwide providing our tribe, political party, or religion controls political power. That's shameful. Even our highly educated professionals and media outlets, north and south, keep a blind eye to the realities of the Nigerian state for tribal, religious, and personal enrichment considerations. Yet, we wonder why our nation remains the poverty capital of the world. Yet, we wonder why the black race is increasingly undervalued and humiliated across the world. Who did this to us? Who did this to us? Do you ever ask this question? COVID-19 has exposed the state of our nation and the cumulative impact of the quality of our leadership over several years. Our leaders are repeating the errors of 500 years ago when our kings and military aristocrats sold our people into slavery for mirrors and gunpowder. They failed to realize that by that decision, they had confined future generations into perpetual slavery, exploitation, and abuse. Today, foreign powers are acquiring hectares of land 
outright across Nigeria and Africa for the next phase of our slavery or colonization. Once more, our leaders are mortgaging the future, freedom, existence, survival, and progress of generations for short-term worthless stage-managed red carpet receptions, handshakes, cheap collateral loans, travel visas, and personal gains. These colonizing countries are not to blame for taking decisions in their own national interest. The question is, are our leaders making decisions in our own national interest? I put this to you as a matter of urgency. We must, we must identify, develop and embrace a new breed of competent and patriotic leaders who desire to see our nation and Africa free, help Africans develop confidence in themselves, their future, their culture, their food, dress codes, and the way they walk and talk and to take full control of their natural resources and national borders. Please join me to awake the conscience of Nigerians and Africans in general before too late. Share this video as a duty to your race, your country, and your continent. Our lives, our future, our survival depend on our collective actions today. This video is not about me. It is about us and our future. I'm playing my part. I hope you play yours. Thank you and God bless.